The CW series Superman and Lois is given the hero his biggest challenge yet. Teenagers. Yes, we are joined by the show's two stars, Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth Fitzy Tula, with a little sneak peek on tonight's premiere. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning guys. Okay, so I got to see it. I got to see the 90 minute premiere uh, early. Well, it's not good. It's great. <laughs> it is great. There was times in there where I was like, oh, this is really exciting. Yeah. And there was other times I found myself crying. What were you guys trying to do to me? I was on an emotional <laughs> roller coaster. <laughs> Well, we uh, we hear you're a big fan, so that's uh, that's high praise coming from you. So thank you. We're we're glad you enjoyed it. Um, but we did. We wanted this to be something new, uh, something fresh. I think it was important to all of us when we sat down to talk about whether or not we were going to do this um, that we could do something that hadn't been done yet. So it's obviously not an origin story. Um, you know, we're meeting these characters at a place in life we've never seen them before. Yeah. They're married. They have two teenagers. And we really wanted people to be able to connect with the character in a way that they hadn't been able to previously. And for people who have been a, a fan of the character for a long time to reconnect with them in a completely new and different way. And not only are we getting to meet you guys as parents, as Clark and, and Lois as parents, you know, Superman's father-in-law just happens to be the general, which kind of makes things a little bit more difficult when it goes to work. Like, it's a whole thing. Yeah, there's a lot of complexities. There's a lot of tension in the family yeah. tree. My father, General Lane, is played um, with great magnific magnificence by Dylan Walsh from Nip Tuck. He's amazing in the yeah. role. And there's a lot of backstory there with him sort of being an absent father. And then you're kind of cutting to Tyler and I, or Clark and Lois, sort of having been a little bit absent and prioritizing their careers mm -hmm. uh, instead of their kids. And that's one of the main kind of issues that we're dealing with in the pilot is what's best for them. And, and we end up moving the family from Metropolis to Smallville, Kansas. Now, we got to see both of you together, yeah. uh, you know, in, in other CW shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and, then, and then we thought that that was just a one-off, but all of us were hoping that this would become a Fingers show. Fingers crossed. So the question is this, when did you two know that they were going to pick this up, and how long did you have to keep the secret? A long time. It was, it was, it was a fair <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> I'd say it was a fair amount of time, yeah. You did a great job holding that yeah, water. That, you really that did. Been hard, hard. Tyler, what was it like when you saw the suit, like the suit that you're going to be wearing in, in this, uh, the new, this version? The, the new super suit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's so funny because it's not like you don't have that moment where you just show up and it's just there waiting for you. Uh, it's, uh, it's many, many fittings of, of measuring. Like you didn't even know that they took these measurements for just everything. <laughs> um, and so you kind of just see it come together little by little. Um, but when you do see the final product, when we had our camera test and everything, uh, it, it was a cool moment to see, like, you know, we really are starting over and starting anew and, uh, and giving this character something to, to work with that kind of represents the show, which yeah. is that it's, uh, you know, we had a great time with what we did in the past, but this is its own thing, and we're really standing on our own two feet here. Now, the suit looks great. It's a little tight. If you drop your keys, could you bend over and get them? <laughs> We, we can bend over. We, we made oh, it so good. that I could at least, yes, if I had to, like, reach down to pick up a bad guy or something, I can There's I can some gift. We like that. Um, okay, and then just because I'm nosy, I know that we haven't even gotten to the 90-minute 90, 90 premiere tonight yet, but I'm so nosy. Are Jonathan and Jordan going to have some powers? Can you just, you don't have to tell everybody. Just tell me. That's all. I just want to I would I would say it's a, it's a great concern to <laughs> Clark and Lois, uh, whether or not that is true. That was such a diplomatic answer. Very well done, Tyler. <laughs> That's a practice. Yeah, exactly. Right. Now, the, the only issue I have with the show, uh, and I, I, once again, I thought it was great, uh, but one of your sons plays football. I thought that was a great opportunity to play lacrosse again on television because I'm a big lacrosse guy. Was there any yeah. talk about that, you know, just bringing out the sticks or anything? I think I think what it was is that from the beginning we've kind of always had uh, a bit of a, a love for Friday Night Lights and like kind of what the environment was mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in a lot of these small towns and especially like where I grew up, uh, I grew up in a Southern California town, but it was very much kind of like small town Texas, a lot of Midwest area kind of thing like that. So I think it's something that is more identifiable in those respects right now. Um, even though lacrosse is getting great attention, uh, I, I agree with you. It's growing in popularity, so it is always fun. I was on a show that did feature lacrosse, so that Thank was you. fun. Um, but I think for the environment here and, and the characters, this is a much more relatable uh, uh, sport to involve in the, in the storytelling. 
Listen, right. when I was in high school, all the crushes I had were on the lacrosse players. Of course. Yes, sure. Thank you. Have good taste By the way, I played <laughs> Auburn lacrosse. I played for Auburn. I just want to throw that out there since she's got crushes on Auburn. <laughs> Um, uh, thank you, you both. You Auburn? All right, I you did. Go. There you go. Lacrosse hotbed of the world, Auburn, <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> thank you, guys. The show seriously is great, and and even if there wasn't a superhero element, yeah, it would be a great show. You know Excellent. what I'm saying? It's and it, and that. if it was just a superhero show, it would be great. You put them together, it is spectacular TV. Fabulous. All right. So Elizabeth Tyler, we'll see you tonight. Wink at us. We know it's you. That's us. Sounds Thank good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's, it's, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's a shame they didn't find attractive people to play. You know, the they, they, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe next time. Yeah. You, it's really good. It looks great. It's really, really good. Like, like you know, I love all the CW superhero yeah. shows. I yeah. love them. But it's, it's really up here. It's like it's okay. taken it to another, another emotional notch. level okay. uh, that I think people really like. Right on. I'm into good it. Stuff.